the time now for joining us interactive and I, uh, Miss G has joined me. I almost said Aisha. I know. I we all miss well. Aisha already. Oh, yeah. And she'll be back soon. So join the conversation on our Facebook page and Twitter page as Joy News on TV. So today on Joy News Interactive, we focus on two Johns. The first John and the discussion has refused to grow. Indeed, the Ghanaian community online have no chill. Discussion around his age has caught fire on social media. Seriously, why would you doubt that the legendary John Mentor is just 34? The second John is a movie star who doubles in politics. Let's cut to the chase. Do you think John Dumelo will do well as a national youth organizer of the NDC? Ah, we'll get to find out later. But just imagine this. The former Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Inusa Fuseni, plants a listening device in his office to listen into conversations that occur there. Then he leaves that office without taking his device or his secret device. And when the new minister finds it, he tells him, don't worry, it's not even working. Really? Well, Ni Osa Mills inherited the position from Inusa Fuseni for two years, and he is upset. He says the knowledge that the device makes him, the knowledge that there was a device that makes him feel naked. But the two big questions remain. Why didn't Mr. Fuseni take his device away when he was leaving the office? And if it isn't working, why was it there? There are too many questions about this case. Right now, I'm getting confused. Tell me what you think. I'll take it from two sides. First, I'll say it's pure hypocrisy. Sorry, it's pure hypocrisy. Because you ask for devices to be installed in your office. And later, I come and tell the whole Ghana that it's not working. Does it want to, does it want to tell us that we are children or we don't, we don't actually read between the lines? Um. My, my opinion, opinion is um, the former minister should, assist, should uh, admit that whatever that he did was wrong. Mm, is your lie? I'm going to plant a device in your car and then it won't be working. Well, um I'm not sure you're going to get the chance to plant the oh, device. Oh, really? Anyway, yeah. I'm catching a lift today. Yeah, but you can't catch, uh, you can't plant the device when I'm with you in the car. You never know. And I know you're more interested in sitting in somebody else's car, not my car. Let's get on to Facebook. Desmond Oakley says, if, you, if uh, it was fixed there by his directors, no problem with that since it was his regime. Now someone is taking over. Why didn't he inform him, the newly appointed minister, what is ever rather kept news until someone detected it before he came out to say that. I think he is only saying that to swerve the BNI investigation. Chief Manosei says, I'm happy that Elijah Nusef Hussein has admitted that he planted the audio recorder in the office. Thanks be to God that all those who were attacking Honorable Amu for exposing this has been put to shame. This Ekufado government shall succeed and Ghana shall work again. Because when politicians are leaving office, they leave with everything, including the official cars, doormats, and hand sanitizer. But you chose to leave behind a recording device. You claim it wasn't working. SMH. If the device is not working and harmless, why didn't he hide it in his bedroom or bathhouse? The word honorable is very, is very cheap in Ghana power. And Eric says, I think the former, okay, you want to say the former minister is accepting the blame in order to cover better investigation because after listening to him on Joy FM, I did not see any relevant uh, uh, reason, any relevant reason why he installed this audiovisual camera in his office. He said it was not working whilst he was not uh, okay so let's move to the next and Ginny Ginny says functional or not the former minister's failure to remove that tracking device even when he was reshuffled was uh, such a wrong decision i am also stunned for three years our security agencies including the bni couldn't know such a device was installed as for the twist being introduced by the majority leader the least said 
about them, the better. And the move was very wrong. And if he thought that his life was threatened by the heat of political influence, then he should have made the national security aware so that the security put such a device at a place to get him secured in a way other than doing that to himself. And uh, uh, Inus Fuseni is not convincing at all. Did he mean to tell as it, it didn't cross his mind to remove it ever since he left the ministry in 2013? Is it, is it not truism that the said device was covered and covered with pictures of the land minister uh, at the mining site? He should come again as his explanation do not add up. Um, so we'll move on to another story. And he's an actor who is famous for his looks and he's also famous for controversial comments that he makes. And now it seems there's another controversy brewing. It seems a section of the new National Democratic Congress are clamoring for him to stand for the National Youth Organizer. There's even a poster already circulating uh, on social media. Let's see it. All right, so that's it. The best bet for Victory 2020, NDC, John Dumelo as the youth, National Youth Organizer. And the theme is time for new era of leadership, visionary, and uh, what else is there? Is your listening, listening grassroots minded and action driven. Mm, so that's uh, the poster indicating that uh, John Bello would run for the National Youth Organizer. So we ask you whether you thought he should consider the position or not after hearing all that he had to say to Doreen Ando on uh, the Cosmopolitan Mix. <laughs> I think it involves a lot of lying, deception, and all that. So, well, I think politics, politics is not my thing, okay? And I would advise anyone, if you're a relative or something, not to go into that. That's all, yeah. So basically, you're telling John DeMello he shouldn't consider it? I don't think so. Uh, it, it's also a good thing to also, because with his acting influence and with his popularity, he can also try to move into the government to enable him to also talk to the youth. I think he should just focus on his acting career and stop the politics all in all. Okay, so Israel, let's go straight to we social see what media. Here, says, a smart way to test the water. Something only becomes uh, pressure when you're interested in it. But anyway, it will fit well in that position. Only that insults from Ghanaians will even cure hernia. <laughs> I am even uh, under pressure to contest the presidency. John Dumelo soldier on. By Jeremiah says he will lose any election that he will contest on any political party in any political party in Ghana because he didn't start well in his political journey. He should concentrate on his career, acting, and will serve him better. Always there are issues of corruption on his uh, next while. He, was, he has not gotten into any public office. Uh, that sentence is not quite clear. I think Judicious Udro okay. mm. says no wonder he wants to join the Association of Babies with Sharp Teeth in their party. But I'd rather advise him to go back and continue his movie career than seek him for political office. And Labila says, I don't believe it's under any pressure. It's just a way of testing the waters. And, uh, oh, yes, I think he should go for it because he knows that his girls will vote for him. And Simon says, the choice is his to make politics. It isn't for any specific person. And Yaima says, he should give us a break. Who is pressuring him? You all contributed to the NDC's shameful and embarrassing defeat. We don't need you as a youth organizer. Well, to another John, he is known as the Rock of Gibraltar, a fierce defender and maybe one of Ghana's best in his heyday. And now he says he wants to return to the Black Stars. But wait a minute. Is it the season for legends of the Black Stars to come back? Because Sule Muntari has also expressed interest in coming back. And so has Kevin Prince Watton. One of my friends think that there should be a special role just for them when they retire, like Stephen Apia is with Chrissy Apia's technical team now. But here's the thing. John Mensa, who says he's 34 years old, says he wouldn't mind a return to the Black Stars. But do you think, uh, what do you think, should Chrissy Apia consider taking him 
onto the squad we are asking. <laughs> Personally, I think John Mensa is really old, so he should just take a break and, you know, just find something to invest in and just continue with his life. Because he's, I, I personally think he's too old and it's obviously his football age, 34 years old is not his real age. So, yeah, I think he should just move on. Um, I think because he's a patriotic citizen and he has been playing for us for long, he should be given a chance to come back to play here. Yeah. Mensa? Mm, I'm not sure. Because me, I can see that John Mensa is now old man, so he can't play for the Ghana Blaster again. <laughs> but 34, nah, he should yeah, be good. People are talking about his age as if they, they gave birth to him. Well, but you know what someone asked me? John Mensa started playing football before Asamwajan joined the Black Stars. Asamwajan says he's 30. So when did John Mensa start playing football? Oh, no, I mean, it could be as a major, they didn't start playing football as a one year old. Okay. Yeah, so he was mature before he started. So it means that when Asamwajan joined the team, John Mensah was just four years older than Asamwajan. Is that's that what not, it means? No, that's not the case. <laughs> that's not the case. No, not at all. Oh. See, uh -huh. we didn't give birth to John Mensah. If he says he can play football, you know, and he's 34, mm -hmm. who are we okay. to challenge him? Let's get on to oh, this. Oh, you, I hear you. Judicious <laughs> Odro says, yeah, he's one, he's one of the men that Ghanaians would love to see in this call-up, and I think Kwesi uh, should consider him when calling Sule and others. But Emma Kubaji says, it would be the worst decision to recall John Manson. For what, if I may ask? The journey is forward in Kwawu. The coach would rather think of the non-payment or the salaries of himself and the other technical staff than waste time to recall a player who can't offer any assistance now. Bambakia says, I don't think so because they are, they are fresh young players yearning to play for the team. He needs simple exercises now, not vigorous training. Uh, Agropa says, if at his age he's given the opportunity to play again, when will the young ones be given the chance? He's been replaced already. And Obo Kwesi says, what is John Mensah talking? We want young blacks to run 90 minutes. He should find himself some coaching course uh, to do. And uh, no, because Kwesi Apia must give the young ones uh, a chance. Mensah has done his part, so he should stand aside. <laughs> okay. The guy said uh, when he's playing active football, you, you're giving... Okay, I'm not sure what uh, this is okay, about. Okay, so Togwe says, join you, stop misinforming us. The guy said, when he's playing active football, you are giving the public tickets to tarnish the guy's hard-won reputation. I, I don't understand that, because he says that he wasn't playing actively, but he's back. Yeah. And so he would appreciate a chance to play for Ghana. Yeah, that he said. Yes, so I don't know why we're uh, giving people the chance to tarnish his image. But Freeman says, people like him should learn how to give the young ones the opportunity to showcase their talents. Opportunities should be given to the young uh, centre back in our league. And uh, Yaima says, I think he can still do better. An old pot never lacks food remains and <laughs> and uh, uh mensa should relax and give the chance to the younger ones a good leader is one who mentors the followers it is over okay so Thank you.